So are you an Apple Card user and do you use Apple Pay? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now about how I use it, why I think this is probably one of the best credit cards out there, even though you might disagree, which is fine. But I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I use it and how I'm planning on using it further in this year and next year and so forth. So Apple came out about two years ago with their own card system. They wanted to make it very simple, very easy to use, and also very secure. And basically this card here, the physical one, which pretty much doesn't have any number for anyone to steal. It's got your little chip. It's got your magnetic on the back, metal, titanium, you know, so it's a nice little card. That one really only gets you 1%, but that's only if you really care about how much of the percentages you get. The main thing for the Apple Card is right here, is in the wallet app, and that's using Apple Pay, because that's where you're going to get the most, your 2%, your 3%, and so forth. But what I like about this compared to other credit cards, you don't have to worry about no paper statement to keep checking stuff and everything. You don't have to try to figure out well, when is my closing date? When do I have to pay? How much do I have to pay? Am I going to pay interest or anything like that? Everything is laid out for you. Color coded, easy to look up other statements, easy to look up other payments. Everything's got location on there. Very easy to make a dispute or an issue. It's very simplistic and no way for anyone to actually steal your number or information, which I hate because I've had that happen to me before, because it's all encrypted and it's all secure through Apple Pay. Now, I understand a lot of people want cars that give them special rewards, special, you know, things here and there. Apple only gives you the percentages, 2%, 3%, or 1% if you use the card. And that's pretty much its perk, but you get the cash back instant with Apple Pay or the Apple Card itself. You don't have to sit there and wait, and you don't have to wait for a certain amount, like $25, $20 to withdraw it and use it. You just get that cash back, and you're able to pay or put that portion towards your card or pay anything else with the cash. So it has its benefits. Doesn't really have many of the downsides unless you're really looking for travel miles or you're looking for something else for the store. But Apple Pay is getting um, a lot more widespread. And I'm telling you this because I know a lot of restaurants have these little kiosks now that you can actually use your Apple Watch with your Apple Card and Apple Pay. You can pay your restaurant stuff. So now a lot of restaurants are doing that, especially here in Texas. That's what I've noticed. A lot of um, your online apps for buying food or buying stuff, they also include Apple Pay. And use your Apple Card with that, you get your percentage back. So my first initial getting the card, I didn't get that big of a credit limit. And I know you kind of have to wait because they, they use TransUnion for a lot of their credit limit stuff. So I'm kind of what I'm in the process of doing is kind of increasing my credit score, get the credit score as high as I can. Then I can actually contact Apple through the Apple wallet, through the Apple card, very simple, very easy, and request a credit limit increase. Once I get a credit limit increase to a substantial amount that I want, then I will simply stop using any of the other credit cards I'm using, leave some little small payments on there so that the cards don't close because that's bad for your credit, and simply use my Apple Card and Apple Pay for everything else. That's basically how I'm planning on doing it, and that's probably what I think you should probably do if you're interested in the Apple Card and you're in the Apple ecosystem. If you're not in the Apple ecosystem, I can understand, yeah, go ahead and look for other cards and all that. But if you are in the Apple ecosystem, the Apple card is probably going to be your best bet. It is the easiest to use, the most encrypted to use. Very simple. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. It's been working fine. And like I said, for right now, I just use it for in-app purchases and subscriptions. So I keep it going that way. I pay all my balances all the way through every month even beforehand, and I've done the installments too for most of my Apple products as well, which right now I'm probably not gonna do, I'll probably just pay them off, but that's kind of how I'm using it. And that's why I think that if you are in the Apple ecosystem, remember I'm saying an if, and you're someone who buys a lot of Apple products and somebody wants your card secure, the Apple card is a good choice to use, whether you use the, the physical one, get your 1%, 
or use Apple Pay and you get the higher percentages and get your cash back. Now, you don't have to use the cash back if you don't want. Just build it up if you want to. But it's there. It's available and it's there. So this is the reasons why I recommend the Apple Card, Apple Pay, using the physical card if you really want, if you have to. And get your percentages back, build your credit score up, and it's it's a win-win situation. So hopefully Apple will improve more on it. I know they have family share and things like that on there, which eh, I'm not quite interested in using. But using Apple Pay, using the Apple Card, you're securing yourself, you're keeping your identity secure. And I think in our credit card industries and in our buy-in ways, I think that's something better that we need to do. So that's my reasons on why and how I use the Apple Card, why I think it would be best for you to start using the Apple Card if you're not already using it and how you can plan on increasing your credit score and your credit limit on the card itself. Got any questions on that? You got any disagree or agree? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, just don't forget the thumbs up. And for you guys to subscribe, thanks for coming back. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe uh, notification bell and subscribe. And I will come back with more videos for you guys. I thank you for watching and I'll come back with more.